Grove was established back in 1997, which is about 24 years ago, I think. And we were based down where Beaver Interiors is now. Um, and that was where our name came from, because that's number 12 Dalton Square. Um, but then when we moved here, we became number 21. So everyone was like, no, we need to keep the name Room 12, because that's how we were established. Um, Suzanne opened the shop um, to basically work for herself and bring something to Lancaster that was new and different. She worked quite a little bit in retail in Manchester just before shortly opening Room 12 and she thought Lancaster was missing a little bit of something that was unique that the, your high street brands couldn't give um, and I think that's where she got a lot of our ideas from. Um, and she really enjoyed getting ideas from Manchester and bringing them to Lancaster to try, try and bring a little, little bit of life to fashion. Yes, definitely. I mean, since Suzanne opened in 1997, she's had customers that are still with her now. Uh, she's built really good relationships with them. I've built some really good relationships with customers as well. Um, and they do come back, they keep coming back, keep supporting us and a lot of them spread the word as well so uh, we've got a dressing stock that we only got two days ago and it's sold out already because a, a lady was wearing it on Saturday night when she was out and it, it, word of mouth is a really good thing. So on a Wednesday we have two customers that always come in the shop at the same time, it's, never, it's always a coincidence, like what are you doing here and it, you know and They've become quite good friends and that brings a sense of community to the shop. Like independent shops all have their own little communities as well of customers, which I think is amazing. I do think students bring a lot into Lancaster and they do, we get a lot of students in our shop and they tend to bring a lot of vibrancy to Lancaster. You know, like nightlife and things like that, they always bring something to Lancaster itself. So you've got places like the, the Priory, the Castle, places like that that do bring a lot to this community itself, which help us to build our economy, brings jobs into the centre and things like that. When customers come in, uh, we can tailor to their needs, whereas I think online you don't necessarily get that. I try to be as personal as I can online and, and try and build up a, um, a conversation with customers through messages and things like that. But I don't think you can beat somebody coming in the shop and picking something up and feeling it and trying on and I just think you can't get that online. I don't think that necessarily applies everywhere such as your big high street brands like New Look and things like that but we, when a customer comes in and we have that relationship with them we can easily tailor it to whatever they like so if they're coming for a wedding guest dress we know exactly what to give them. I'm an ex-uni student uh, from Preston. I don't think our University of Lancaster is very well connected to the town centre itself. Um, we used to do, now I'm talking like quite a few years ago, um, we used to do a student night, I think it was once every couple of months, but that seems to have fizzled out completely. I also think that there's quite a few empty shops in Lancaster and it, it's a little bit sad. I think if we got more shops into Lancaster, more chains, more independent shops, it would bring that community back into Lancaster as well. I think being a woman in business is really difficult. Um, I think sometimes women don't get taken very seriously when they come with an idea. Um, but I'm really lucky to have make sure you've got that good support behind you if you are wanting to start some form of business. Go for it. There's never, there's never too much healthy competition, there's never too much um, out there for you to start your own thing. I work really hard to be where I am now. I can do nice things, afford nice things and that is all because of Suzanne and her business. It enabled me to um, build on what I know best and learn things and become a little bit more independent in myself as well. So Emma, that's it for today. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you.